Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. Welcome to FF episode 2293-2293 and Mike Matthews. Here we are, it's almost Friday, and we're gonna sing Mike's Daily Podcast. This fantastic song called Mike's Daily Podcast. It's got such a great beat, and the piano behind it is so sweet. If I could play the piano, I would make it sound like this. It's great, and I cannot resist it. So I'm trying to think ahead of time what sort of crazy podcast Mike's Daily Podcast picture we can use for today in this world of, well, things where Mike's we are daily thinking about another country podcast. often. Yeah! The country that we hear about far, far away. And we, we're talking about it a lot about the people that got left behind there and the terrible situation. How could it have been done better? How can we avoid this sort of thing in the future? And you know it's happened before. I mean, not just in Vietnam, but, you know, many other times. So it's just how do we prevent this sort of thing happening again? I don't know. I'm a friendly neighborhood podcaster. That brings you podcast pictures and talks about things to help your life. Like remaining calm in this crazy, crazy world. As human beings, we have an idea in our heads about how things are supposed to be. And we see it. We're verbally, we're out, we're opinionated. And we talk about this and we go, we speak out of our mouths because we're outspoken. What we think we need to do and to make this world, the, you know, a better place. Sadly, this is what often messes our relationships up the most. We get frustrated when things don't play out the way we expect them to and people don't behave like they're supposed to. We expect our spouses and children to act a certain way, our friends to be kind and agreeable, strangers to be less difficult, coworkers to be helpful, and then... And here's today's podcast picture. It's me in a sunset. At the beautiful beach, Poplar Beach. This picture taken, when was that? Before things got really crazy. Oh, actually, uh, maybe that was in June, I think. See that picture at mikesdailypodcast.com of yours truly in a sunset at Half Moon Bay. Where I used to take this particular fella all the time. We'd go and we'd run on the beach. He'd run after the sandpipers. He'd bark at the seagulls. He was a menace to all of them. Fun times. Yes. I would have gone every day if I could. The late great Basil the Boxer. Which I was watching one of my favorite YouTube channels. This uh, couple. Will and Don. Their channel's called Yankee in the South. In fact... Will actually answered one of my questions once when they were doing a live feed. Which, I also enjoy watching Carpetbagger, but he is awful doing the live chats. And it's bizarre because Will and Don were in one of his early videos before they even got started starting their YouTube channel. And I don't understand, but somehow in that part of Tennessee, there are all of these YouTube channel people. Now, I bet there's a billion more here in the Bay Area, but still fascinating to me that there's so many there in Tennessee. And Will and Don answered my question because I was asking Will how long it takes him to edit his videos. And he says, two hours. That blew my mind. Two hours. But Carpetbagger does these live chats and all these people are giving him money. All these people are like, ding, and I guess you can donate money on YouTube in those live chats, which you can't do a live chat until you have something like over a thousand subscribers. And I think between the two of these YouTube channels, uh, they must have millions of subscribers, but he it was so boring. Whereas it's it, it, carpetbagger, whereas Will and Don are fun to watch and they're, they're hilarious to interact. Now, if I did a live chat, I would answer everybody's questions, no matter how ridiculous. And then all the money that got donated to me, I would give to a cat charity. 
Or a boxer charity Oh that's where my whole point was Or maybe I'd keep it I don't know But Will and Don Were walking recently In the town of Gatlinburg In Tennessee And They Saw a boxer And they pointed out the boxer And It just goes to show How the dog Known as The breed That's known as The the boxer It just Makes people so happy They're such a happy dog That's why to lose A boxer Is so sad So In our world of things That we try to make Not sad When reality hits us And everyone seems to be doing The opposite of what we want them to do We overreact There's anger Frustration Stress Arguments Tears Etc What can we do about this? Well We can breathe As Faith Hill told us Just breathe And oh I heard that Her husband Tim McGraw And their daughter Grace I think They're singing They got like a song That's charting right now I think that's what I heard Musical group I just, I remember when she was pregnant With that daughter I went to In fact I saw her perform With Tim At a New Year's Eve Concert And the band Black Hawk Opened for them And That band featured members Of another band A, a southern country band Called Oh what were they called The rock band The Yeah I can't think of it now Ram, ram, I'll have to look it up But yes Breathing That Faith Hill song Just Breathe That you've heard a million times Henry Paul What band was he with? That's And then there was Van Stevenson Who he uh, Was a And Henry Paul is also I guess a rugby player For Canada's Olympic team Henry Paul The Outlaws Thank you He's 71 now Huh also has the Henry Paul band Got to meet Henry Paul Very nice guy uh, So Black Hawk opened the show This was in Tennessee Actually in Nashville At the Titans No not Titans Stadium It was uh, Whatever their Arena is Their indoor arena For their hockey team And all that stuff And so they opened the show As we go outside a cafe Anyway we were bringing you Mike's Daily Podcast We bring you Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcast Valley Mont today The last place on earth so they put on a great show Then there was Tim McGraw And he sang a couple songs Faith Hill joined him They did that big song they had together It's Your Love So Just Breathe I guess the, this is way before that song came out though But When you feel like your lid's about to blow Make sure to take a long deep breath Deep breathing releases tension Calms down our fight or flight reactions Allows us to quiet our anxious nerves So that we choose more considerate and constructive responses No matter what the situation is We can't What you can control is how you respond to everything When everything gets out of control In your response is your power So if you do your best to inhale and exhale The next time another driver cuts you off in traffic In a recent poll With 1200 people Overreacting while fighting traffic Was the most commonly cited reason For overreacting on a daily basis Just imagine if all the drivers on the road Took deep breaths Before making nasty hand gestures Or screaming obscenities at others Or honking or whatever So Breathing deeply and often Remind yourself That we can't control other people Remind ourselves That people can handle their lives However they choose Don't take their behavior personally And try to see the good in them Let go of the ideals and expectations we have about others That cause unnecessary frustration, arguments, and bouts of anger And remember that when others are being difficult They are often going through a difficult time That we know nothing about We should give them empathy, love, and space And now that takes practice Lots and lots of practice But it allows us to make the world a slightly more peaceful place And somebody's trying to call me while I'm doing this fantastic podcast I'll have to wait If you're ready to feel more peace and less inner angst There's some ways To remain calm and centered Even when those around us can't seem to contain themselves Get comfortable with pausing 
Don't imagine the worst when you encounter a little drama. When someone's acting irrationally, don't join them by rushing to make a negative judgment call. Instead, pause. And the, the, the breathe thing. Sometimes good people behave poorly under stress. Yes, that's a, that may be a lame excuse, but that's... There you go. When you pause, it gives you space to collect your thoughts. And it also allows the other person the space to take a deep breath with you. In most cases, that extra time and space is all we need. It's a little time and space, my friend. Choose your battles wisely. Sometimes it's important to agree to disagree. Respect people's differences. Be compassionate. In the busyness of today's world, people tend to be worried, fearful, hurt. Hurting and distracted about everything. The word compassion means to suffer with. That's interesting. To suffer with. We're all suffering. (laughs) When you put yourself in the other person's shoes, you give them the space to regroup without putting any extra pressure on them. Remember, we never know what's really going on in someone's life. And when you interact with others in stressful environments, set an intention to be supportive by leaving the expectations, judgments, and demands at the door. Extend generosity and grace. Don't take people's behavior personally. Take, talk less and learn to appreciate silence. That's what we need to do more as a society. Create a morning ritual. A ritual in the morning that starts your day off right. Don't rush into your day by checking your phone or email. Don't put yourself in a stressful state of mind that makes you incapable of dealing positively with other people's negativity. Create time and space for a morning ritual that's focused and peaceful. That sounds challenging. And if you would like to know more, Joshua Becker wrote this. And it's from the website becomingminimalist.com. I'm sure he could give you more info about that. Becomingminimalist.com. So just it's reminding yourself of what's right and create more of it in the world. Coping using healthy choices and alternatives. Outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth. Look who's here. Hello, Michael Marshall's mother. Oh, the big old. I try to be nice to everybody. Oh, that's great. Is that why you're stepping on my foot? Yes. Is that why you made me a delicious turkey sandwich? Yes. Can I have some potato chips? No. Oh, rude. Look who else is here. Hello, Dave Mike. This is Valentino the Bird. And it's advice and Bentley. Mike, we really enjoyed your show last time, day when you were discussing things like the avocados and such. Day. Yeah, avocados. Actually, that was two podcasts ago. That was FF episode 2291. This is 2293. Last show is 2292. Where I had that wonderful picture of Fairmont Ridge trying to focus despite your busy life. And you know, a lot of us have trouble focusing because of the ADHD and all of the autism running rampant. And everybody's on the spectrum in some way. So there's so many reasons why we got to try and focus. So much is taking up and distracting ourselves, whether it be on the outside or on the inside. So... That's what this podcast is all about. Trying to help you. Trying to get to the bottom of things. You can chime in. Tell me what you think. 336MM daily. 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM as in Mike Matthews. Daily as in what this podcast has been now for a couple of days. Next show, it'll be the wonderful Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floorman, and John Deere the Engineer. Thank you so much for listening. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.